I picked up this nice, essentially completely brand new Velbon tripod, more or less for free at a yard sale, because like so many of these things, it's missing its camera shoe. And that's where I get the vast majority of my tripods. You just got to make a camera shoe and it's not particularly hard to do. So if you've lost one or you're like me, you, you want a nice tripod, but you don't really want to pay a whole lot for it. Go find one without a shoe. Just make it. You first sort of have to study how their mounting works. For these guys, it's like a plinth. You've got a, an angle on this side and then over here on this little latch, you've got that same beveled edge. So we need to take a measurement from the full dimension. How wide is it completely? And then we'll go to the chop saw and we'll try to fake in some of these angles until we find something that works. And this appears to have some sort of a side chamfer. So it's, it's like the, the parts, you know, they, they clipped in two different dimensions there. So what I'm doing now is just test fitting that because you want it nice and firm and that looks perfect. I cut three of them before I got one that was completely what I wanted it to be. You can't really safely recut boards that are this size. They're just too small and your fingers are simply too close to the blades. So I, like I said, I just got a, a scrap and I made another one and another one until I got exactly what I wanted. And then in order to get it to fit into that taper, I hand sanded just a little off these edges. When it comes time to attach the mount, there's just a couple of things that, that you sort of have to, to account for. Number one, you need a way to tighten up on the end of your camera, on the camera mount itself. And so there's a few ways of doing this. I, I made this, this is a magnetic mount that I, I built to like stick on the Jeep. And so what I've done here is I've used an extra long bolt. I screw the camera on and then I tighten up this wing nut to jam it. And that's how I hold that solid. And you can see I'm using a Forstner bit, which leaves a nice flat bottomed hole. And I'm going to cut the recess for the head. Remember, you only want it deep enough just to cover the recess of the head. And that's simple enough to test. You just take your bolt upside down, stick it in the hole, and then you know when you're deep enough. After that, you swap over to a quarter inch drill bit. The drill bit. A drill bit, bud. And using the little tit pilot hole that the Forstner bit used, you can easily center this hole. Then you flip it over, you swap back the quarter out, and you swap in another Forstner bit or any large drill bit. You just this is the size of the nut. You want to recess your nut. Same deal. You want to get about half of your nut buried in the hole there. And that's all it takes to cut one out. Your mouse and your camera. You screw your mount into the base of your camera. Is it going to walk off, Daddy? All the way in. Then you adjust your camera for direction. You tighten up your wing nut. The camera drops in, snugs up, and now you are completely ready to film. And if you want a hot swap, you can. You can go ahead and paint these, whatever you would like. I'm not going to bother. Daddy, That's fine. Good bud. The big wood. The one. And the other. And the other one. Just like that. Our tea is harder. Oh. And the little up. Feel it up. Like that. You said bye-bye. Bye-bye. Can you wave the camera? Good job.